year. That's right, Jim. He leads the team in receptions, receiving yards, and touchdowns this season. He's definitely established himself. However, in high school, he almost gave it all up. He even told his coaches he was quitting the sport. But he stuck it out then and at Mizzou because of one key characteristic. This bugs for you. Patience. If Bud Sesser had to be described in one word, it would be patience. I think it just kind of runs in the family a little bit. And, uh, you know, I get it from my mom a lot. And uh, she's a very patient person and she's hardworking. And, uh, you know, that's kind of what I, I fight off of, you know, just being patient. Sesser was forced to be patient during his first three years at Mizzou when older guys were getting most of the playing time. I was able to just uh, mentally take reps from a lot of the players, like learn from uh, what they did well and what they didn't do too well and uh, see how guys were treated if they were being coachable and the guys who weren't being coachable. But this patience goes well beyond his time in Columbia. When Sasser was a sophomore at Ryan High School in Denton, Texas, he didn't even make his varsity football team and even considered quitting the sport and focusing on basketball instead. But his sister helped him remain patient. She hates quitters, and she hates, you know, when I just don't feel right about a sport. And, uh, you know, she was a little upset when I stopped playing baseball, too. But <laughs> so at that time, she was just like, you know, you just need to play both. Now, Sesser is third in the SEC in receptions and also made first team all SEC. And he says he's never going to change his patient, hardworking attitude. Play with a chip on my shoulder, just knowing that people didn't think that I could do it. And, uh, you know, that just... This goes to show, you know, they just, it's, it's, that's what a fan does. You know, they don't, they don't really know. They don't see you at practice. So, you know, just go out there and play your best, play your hardest, and don't worry about too much. Now, when I talked to Sesser, he said well into his senior year, he didn't know whether he was going to play basketball or football. But when he visited Columbia and he saw what Mizzou was establishing, he said the choice was clear. I'd say the patience has paid off. Hey, guess what? Bud Sasser and the rest of the Tigers have just entered the stadium. It's about two hours before kickoff. Uh, during your story, we saw the bus pull up, and here come the Tigers onto the football field at the Citrus Bowl kickoff time at 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. Thank you very much, Jay.